Hi there, well my name's Andrew and I'm the originator of BURST. BURST uh, is brain injury, rehabilitation, support and therapy. Uh, BURST works out of Wall Eden Farm, which is the family farm based in rural Somerset. Um, and here today I'm going to show you one of the products we make. Um, we make products in order to teach people that have had an acquired brain injury new skills. Okay, in order to make lots and lots of bird boxes, we use a template. This template is marked up with various lines. The first line is 140 millimeters, next line is 160. These two components, when assembled, make the top. The next component is the back, and that's 360 millimeters long. The next component is the bottom, and also the two side component components. The two side components are 190 millimeters long. This is cut down the middle or ripped down the middle. Just to make reference to that, when you're sawing timber, always do your vertical cutting first of all. And finally, the front. Now the front here is 260 millimeters long. We like to have it 90 degrees on the end here. And I've also marked just there at the ridge line where we're going to drill the hole for the bird. Now it's either going to be a 28 millimeter or a 32 millimeter hole, depending on the type of bird that's going to use it. The countersink holes that you see here are approximately 11 millimeters in. This is due to being half the thickness of the timber, so the screw will end up in the middle and not split out on the edges. Now, if you want to make a template, you can download it from our website. When undertaking a project like this, it's important to plan and research your information properly. Different size holes will attract different species of bird. Okay then, so using your template, you're gonna transfer the lines onto the piece of timber which you're gonna cut into the bird box. So just mark it just slightly. And once you've done that, you're gonna use a square to transfer the lines across. Right, I'm going to bring the uh, template back into play now. And then it's simply a case of running the drill down through the holes. Okay, so don't need the template anymore. Back to the cross cutting. So I'm just going to cut just to one side of the line. There we go. Back, the two components for the roof, the front, and the two sides, and the bottom. There we go. Right, now we're going to move over to the assembly part of the making of a bird box. So I'm going to take the two sides and the bottom by placing that on top of there. I'll screw into there. Turning it over. the back. Just going to keep the bottom right hand corner. Now I can place the front of the pair box onto here. Starting with the bottom right hand side, making sure it's level. Bottom left hand side, good. Just bringing it out a little bit there. Up. 
Okay, so the next stage is to put the roof on. I'm just going to put these two bits together. But I'm only going to put one screw in the roof for a second, just while. Reason for only putting one screw in is I want it to line up on the top of the bird box because it has a tendency to have a bit of a mind of its own. So, and this one is putting up a bit of a struggle at the moment, but there we go. We seem to have got it now. I'm going to place a screw down through here. So the next stage then is to put the perch on, little perches for the birds to rest on are made from native wood taken from ash trees or hazel trees. We take a branch about an inch, inch and a quarter round and saw off a small length. In order that the perch stays firmly secured, it's important to drill three small pilot holes at a slight angle. And I'm going to secure this perch using some panel pins. There we go. So when that's all sanded up, it will look like this.